channel. I'm Lorena, Lorena Creole, and of course, happy Thanksgiving to all of you out there. I am at Disney's Polynesian Resort for Thanksgiving. Actually, I'm going to check out the Kona Cafe, which has been going through a little refurbishment, so I'm anxious to check that all out. So, decided to bring you guys along with me because as some of you may know and some of you may not know, the Polynesian Resort is my favorite Disney Resort ever since I was a kid and I cannot resist any chance to come here and check it out, especially as it's all decorated for Christmas. Aloha, happy Thanksgiving. Saying hi to all the cast members here working hard on Thanksgiving Day. And remember, in Hawaiian, Merry Christmas is Mele Kaliki Maka. Yes, yes. So I'm going here, take you guys with me to enjoy the fun. to be in here in a Polynesian for Christmas. Okay, Christmas holidays, not Christmas yet, but I've spent several Christmases as a resort guest here, and I've loved it every year because it was so different from Pennsylvania. I mean, you have the Christmas tree here with all kinds of tropical decorations on it, and Boutique is always decked out for Christmas as well. I'm gonna have to show you guys a little bit of how Boutique does Christmas after I get done lunch. in here I mean it doesn't have the traditional smell like it used to when down here was nothing but a, a atrium which I miss actually it had a distinctive smell now it's got what I would call a smell you can buy like Febreze or something like that it's not bad it's just different this is what you do There's Kona Island, my favorite place to not only get coffee, but to get delicious desserts. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that cupcake. I want it so bad. 
another cupcake. And I'm guessing that's kind of like a pumpkin pie tart, I'm guessing, which is nice. And my favorite, of course, you guys thought I was lying, chocolate covered bacon. Oh. And of course, dipped strawberries, should you like them. Okay, folks, so we're gonna head to Kona Cafe. I'm about 10 minutes early for my reservation so maybe they can let us in a bit earlier it definitely looks a little different from what i remember seems to be a little bit more airy but we'll see we'll see as soon as they let us in all right so i am finally seated here at the kona cafe here in the polynesian resort um, it still feels like the same spirit of the Kona Cafe, which, as some of you guys know, the Kona Cafe is one of my favorite, favorite restaurants here at Disney World. I've gone here for years. Always great comfort food. Always feels like home when I drop in here, especially with the tropical vibe they have going on. So, for Thanksgiving, there is a Thanksgiving menu that was offered with your traditional, you know, turkey, three bean casserole, uh, a stuffing that was not cornbread dressing, so I was not interested in it anyway, and a pumpkin tart. We're in the South, we don't do pumpkin down here, we do sweet potato. But that is offered. Um, I didn't bother asking how much it was because I was not interested in it. If you guys want to know how much, I'll ask my wonderful, wonderful server cast member, Courtney, how much that is. But actually, I am going to go for something different because I want to try this new menu that they have going on here. So I am looking at the Kona stir fry, which has yakisoba noodles, Napa cabbage, carrots, mushrooms, teriyaki sauce. I am getting it with scrimp, AKA my nickname for shrimp. So I am going to try that. And for the advertisers, crispy pork vegetable pot sticker. Now they do have the glazed chicken wings, but I always get the glazed chicken wings. So I want to try something different. So I'm going to get this pot sticker, AKA dumplings as we know them on the East Coast. <laughs> So I'm going to wait for my meal to get here and I'll let you guys know how it is. So for folks who know the Kona Cafe or the Polynesian in general is known for their drinks. Now, my gold standard is the Lapu Lapu. Um, you drink two of these and you're pretty much invisible. They taste amazing. Uh, but just like any rum punch, do not... Uh, eat the fruit and expect to stand up straight. Uh, just, <laughs> just a little, little warning there. So the lapu lapu is my favorite. The Polynesian mai tai is good as well. My second favorite drink here is the back scratcher because you do get a bamboo back scratcher that is put there. So it's kind of like getting a drink and a souvenir. Now the red sangria, I didn't notice this before. So thinking maybe of trying this instead of the back scratcher. I'm gonna think about it. Okay, so I asked Courtney and she said that the Thanksgiving meal is $31 and that is inclusive of the dessert. It's not inclusive of any drinks or anything like that. So that's just for the entree and the dessert, which is the pumpkin tart. So again, $31 per person for that, just in case you were interested. So as alcohol is quite expensive at Kona and I haven't decided if I want to drink yet, I got my favorite, which is a Diet Coke, and I asked for lime, and I always love how they put it here in these little trays like this, so I love that. Then, of course, we have the Hawaiian sweet bread and this gorgeous, huge pat of butter. I like how Kona kind of like oversizes stuff. If you've ever had the dessert, so the breakfast sausage here, you know what I'm talking about. 
So I'm looking forward to trying this bread and my Diet Coke with lime as I wait for my uh, appetizer. I actually decided to go with the wigs instead of the uh, instead of the pot stickers. Don't judge me. Well, here are the sticky wings. Just like I remember all that delicious glaze. Look at all of just the savory seasonings and spices. And it smells like I remember too, which is important. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to dig into these. So I've already had one of the uh, chicken wings. So I put the destroyed one on the plate so you can't see it. So see the nice pretty ones. I mean, the wings are cooked deliciously, you know, slightly a little crispy, um, very savory, sweet teriyaki glaze that's on it. You've got the green onion scallions with the, with the sesame seeds that make it taste so, 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 so good. Also a little bit slices of sweet pepper to add to the interest. These are not hot wings. These are not spicy wings. They're kind of like the sweet teriyaki glaze. So if you're averse to spices, don't worry. I think you'll love this dish. And little kids especially will like these uh, sticky wings because one, they're sweet. Two, little drumstick pieces. So my scrimp stir fry is here, full of delicious sauce and my scrimps that I got. Loving the sauce so far. It's nice, it's hot, it's got a nice great big bowl. I cannot wait to dig into this. I'll let you know what I think. very very nice I like it my only ding against this dish is it seems to be a little bit saltier than I would um, that I would like but it doesn't detract from uh, from not enough so that it detracts from my enjoyment of the dish again very very minor knit the shrimp are cooked well they're not tough they're just pliable enough to be perfect love the sweet peppers I'm just enjoying <laughs> enjoying this dish it's very very simple um, just fun to eat I wish I would have asked for chopsticks actually that would have been more fun okay so I asked my wonderful server he brought me some chopsticks so now I can really dig in and have fun with this noodle bowl I'm just, you're, Noodle bowls just aren't fun, at least to me, unless you have chopsticks. All right, so I'm all done. Uh, my Thanksgiving lunch at the Kona Cafe. I just kind of wanted to give you guys my impressions. Um, nine out of 10 as usual nothing's changed at the kona cafe with respect to service my server cast member courtney was absolutely absolutely amazing so glad she set me off with a uh, with a to-go cup of uh, diet uh, diet coke so i appreciated that the decor um it just seems a bit more i would say lighter and uh and airier than the previous design uh, not in a bad way it just seems it seems to be more more space in a way and not 
not the heavy, heavy dark theme. There's still the dark wood themes in there, but just not as much. It's just, just my, just my impression. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like the Kona Cafe has changed. It just seems like there's a bit of a modern update, uh, update to it. The lunch menu seems a little less on it than what I, what I remember. I do like the stir fry options, so the menu is still good. It's a little different, a little light, a little lighter for lunch than I would say, which still enjoyable. The wings are still there, pot stick is still there. Call me selfish, but that's pretty much what I what I cared about. Again, everything brought out at exactly the temperature that it needed to be. Courses were paced up very well. Cast members very attentive as always. Wanted to make sure you definitely have a good meal at the Kona Cafe. Like I've said, go in there, feels like home, laid back, relaxed, favorite of mine, and I'm happy to say that it's still a favorite of mine. So if you're staying at the Polynesian, or even if you're not staying at the Polynesian, make sure you have a reservation for the Kona Cafe. Um, I don't like telling people about it because it's just too good and I really want to keep the secret to myself, but it is one of those hidden gems. Most people go to Ohana, they kind of forget about Kona. I guess I kind of like that, but definitely check out Kona Cafe. So that's gonna wrap it up for this review of my Thanksgiving meal at Kona. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or let me know your experiences of going if you've gone before and after the refurb. I would love to hear from you. So again, a belated happy Thanksgiving to you guys just watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you got some value out of it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.